In a significant development, the Indian Air Force has sought financial quotes from the American manufacturer Boeing and the European company Airbus for leasing aerial refuelers. The Air Force has sought quotes to lease two A330 refuelers from Airbus, but it has requested quotes for only one KC46 refueler from Boeing, and it is possible that India might end up leasing three refuelers very soon, and will place a large order of six refuelers based on the experience of using them for which the French government has already moved a proposal offering 6 A330 refuelers on a government-to-government -government basis. While addressing a virtual lecture at the Aeronautical Society of India yesterday, the DRDO chief Dr. Satish Reddy has said that the final configuration of the AMCA fighter jet has been frozen, and its preliminary design has been completed. He also said, that the Air Force has also submitted the preliminary services qualitative requirements for the AMCA Mark I, and the papers are currently being processed which will be sent to the Cabinet Committee on Security for developing the first prototype by a public-private joint venture company. He also confirmed, that the first medium-weight fighter will be rolled out in 2022, and will be integrated with Astra air-to-air -air missile. Scalp cruise missile, the Israeli Crystal Maze and Spice 2000, while the design work on the Navy's 26-ton twin-engine deck-based fighter is ongoing, and it is expected to conduct its first flight in 2026. The Modi government has set a stiff target of 60% indigenization for the 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets, and a senior official has said, that out of the total 344 systems currently equipped in the Mark I variant, 210 are indigenous systems while 134 systems are imported, and Hindustan Aeronautics has been asked to reduce the imported systems to just 80 in the Mark I-A variant. The Aeronautical Development Agency holds all the source codes for the Tejas aircraft, and the development agency has now charged 800 crore rupees consultancy fees for the Tejas Mark I-A program. If the 18% goods and services tax is removed, the per unit cost of the Tejas Mark 1A will come down to 315 crore rupees, which makes it the most advanced and cost-effective option for foreign customers at just 43 million dollars. MPP tail number series could be adopted for the 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets, in honor of the late defense minister, without whom the Tejas program would still be in the development cycle. According to latest reports, the Indian Air Force is confident to get the acceptance of necessity for 114 new fighter jets worth over $20 billion by April 2021. The Indian government is also ready to issue the request for proposal to Rosborough Export of Russia, for the purchase of 12 Su-30 and 21 MiG-29 fighter jets with the latest avionics and EW suite from Russia, as well as the additional upgrade of existing 59 MiG-29 fighter jets to the latest standard. The price of 12 Su-30 with superior electronic warfare capabilities and spares is estimated to be 10,730 crore rupees, while 21 upgraded MiG-29 fighter jets will cost 7,418 crore rupees. US Department of Defense has said that China is pressuring 12 countries to make them agree to host its military logistic facilities, but China is finding it increasingly difficult to succeed in its mission due to political instability, local resistance and poor economic condition in the potential host nations. The Chinese plan to base ships and submarines in Bangladesh and Maldives have also failed, and Sri Lanka will also not allow to establish a Chinese military base, as this development will never be accepted lightly by India. India has delivered a consignment of heavy equipment including two mobile harbour cranes for the development of Chabahar port signaling India's commitment to the strategic connectivity project that can provide access to markets in Central Asia. The first shipment of strategic loading and unloading equipment worth $8.5 million has arrived in Chabahar port, that also marks the activation of the contract between Iran's ports and maritime organization and the Indian side. 
India might not push for resumption of oil supplies from sanction hit Iran and will wait for the Biden administration to take charge and clear its stand on the issue. Oh, Mark, drop it.